The Switchblade suicide drone is powerful enough to replace fighter jets and completely destroy armored tanks. And when teamed up with another American drone known as the Puma, the lethality of the Switchblade is amped up to the max. However, being a relatively new weapon, some questions remain regarding the Switchblade's use in actual live battle, and these questions are about to be answered in this video. Seeing as the Switchblade was included in the United States' recent $300 million lethal aid package for Ukraine to repel Russia's invasion. Since the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the United States has shipped cargoes of supplies into Ukraine in security assistance, amounting to a wallet-zapping $1.6 billion, the latest of which is a $300 million lethal aid package under the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, a program that lets the United States manufacture arms directly for Ukraine rather than having to take from its own stockpiles. And contained in this package are some military equipment ingenious enough to bring Ukraine's military one step closer to matching the might of the Russian forces, particularly the Puma unmanned aerial systems and the tactical switchblade suicide drone. But with Ukraine's military already operating more than 30 different types of drones, why is the US sending even more drones to them? Well, the answer to that is simple. The switchblade is simply like no other drone before it. And here's why. In the early 2010s, American troops were desperate for more efficient ways to counter ambushes during patrols in Afghanistan, as the other options at the time were far from convenient or efficient. Close air support, for instance, took too long to arrive, was far too expensive to conduct repeatedly, and risked collateral damage in urban areas while troop-carried guided missiles on the other hand, such as the FGM-148 Javelin, although somewhat lightweight, were not lightweight enough to not hinder the mobility of the troops, and so were not often carried on typical patrols. There was the need for a weapon like a drone that carried ammunition, flying overhead with the ability to strike targets once spotted, without having troops on the ground hauling and babysitting it every step of the way. This is where the switchblade comes in a half-drone, half-missile system that received over $50 million worth of investments in nine days from various departments of the US military, and understandably so. The Switchblade represents the next generation of extended-range loitering missiles that deliver unprecedented reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition support on land, on the seas, and in the air. It provides the ability to take on targets that are out of the direct line of sight, thanks to a lock-on feature that enables it to keep track of stationary and on-the-move targets alike. And unlike other weapons, this kamikaze drone has no launch signature, giving the opposition no clue as to where the attacks are sourcing from, making it ideal for stealthy surprise attacks. The Switchblade comes in two models, firstly the Switchblade 300 for anti-personnel attack, and then, our focus in this video, the superior Switchblade 600 designed to penetrate through armored, hardened targets at greater distances with a 33-pound anti-armor warhead, similar to that on the Javelin anti-tank missile. Users of this switchblade can easily train via an integrated training simulator, plan missions, and execute flight operations through an intuitive touchscreen tablet known as the Fire Control System, which features advanced flight control to make most of the drone's top-level antenna GCS and SAASM GPS to carry out missions with the highest precision. The Switchblade takes this ease of use even further, with a setup time of fewer than 10 minutes before taking to the skies, with class-leading EOIR gimbaled sensors that qualify as military standard, but are also inexpensive and disposable enough to be fitted on a drone, whose mission includes blowing up upon contact with any target within its extensive 24-mile combat range. But what's probably even more impressive than that is the patented wave off and recommit capability of the switchblade that allows its operator, in case of a mission situation update, to cancel the switchblade's 115 mph per hour dash towards a target and recommit to another target or go back to loitering. 
This significantly reduces the risk of collateral damage during missions, which has been a goal of the US military for the longest time. The switchblade is capable of loitering for over 40 minutes at a 70 mile per hour cruise until a target is spotted because once fired from its launch tube, the switchblade cannot be recalled. And so if its operator is unable to spot a target before its loitering time runs out, that's one switchblade wasted. And as a result of this, the military often locates its target first before launching a switchblade. But locating a target isn't the easiest thing in the world to do, from jaggedy terrains in the heat of battle. Therefore, targeting and keeping track of targets must be done more efficiently, via a non-suicide drone with the clearest telescopic picture of a target area from miles up in the sky, that serves as a keen overhead eye for the military. Luckily, the Switchblade's California-based manufacturer, Aerovironment, has just a thing for that, the Puma LE Drone. The Puma LE Drone, LE meaning long endurance, is an extended mission unmanned aircraft system that offers enhanced imagery required for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance during the day or at night, in any weather, on land, and in maritime environments. The Puma's advanced features enable it to provide superior situational awareness and operational effectiveness on the battlefield thanks to an improved digital data link and limitless frequencies supported by AES 256-bit encryption that allows the secure transfer of data from the drone to friendlies, including infantry, fighter jets, and switchblades. At just 23.5 pounds, the Puma is man-portable, carried in a dual-case mission pack, and can be launched by a single person by hand or by a bungee launch with enough support to complete two separate missions with each mission lasting five and a half hours. And once in the air, the Puma comes to life with its integrated dual electro-optical cameras, an infrared camera, a low-light camera, and an NVG visible laser illuminator, all combining efforts to ensure this drone never goes blind. Also included in the Puma's primary payload are hardware for electronic warfare, RF geolocation, and communications relay via its sensor-to-shooter kit which enables the Puma to serve as a middleman to relay commands via a proprietary digital data link to other drones such as the Switchblade, ultimately increasing the Switchblade's range in some way. In the Puma's 3.4-pound capacity secondary payload bay is an additional Ethernet setup and a dedicated power supply for further communications across units and longer time in the air while cruising at over 28 miles per hour or dashing at 47 miles per hour within its 12.4 mile control range, a range that can be tripled to a math-defying 37.3 miles with the use of a long-range tracking antenna. But perhaps the Puma's most standout feature is its Mantis I-45 gimbal payload. This compact lightweight gimbal delivers powerful visuals and zoom capabilities from undetectable distances and supports an advanced suite of sensors such as the Puma's ultra-high-resolution EOIR imagers. The Mantis I-45 is also backward compatible with previous Puma drone versions, fully waterproof, and it allows for improved low-light capabilities with its near-infrared and long-wave infrared imagery. And during flight operations, the I-45 gimbal provides reliable operation in the most extreme environments full lower hemisphere coverage in a continuous 360 degree pan, plus 30 to negative 90 degrees tilt, and an ever-working dedicated onboard image processor to process the high definition images to be sent back to the Puma, which is then relayed to control and other connected units. All of these combine to make the Puma the go-to drone for the US Army, Navy, and Air Force for a long line of missions, but it lacked attacking capabilities meaning the Puma is hardly ever really sufficient to complete a mission without a fighter jet joining in to take out spotted threats. This, however, changed with the rise of the Switchblade, and now they're operated as twins in tactical hunter-killer teams. That is, the operator of the Puma, on spotting targets, can automatically launch a Switchblade at the push of a button on the Puma's control screen to take out the targets. As the Switchblade hones in on the target's location, the imagery from both the Puma and the Switchblade are matched to confirm the Switchblade has the correct target, and then upon operator approval, 
the switchblade engages, delivering an unprecedented level of fury out of nowhere, or at least so it usually seems for the targets. And it seems the targets in the coming weeks are about to be Russian tanks that have wandered into Ukraine. The capabilities that come with the Puma switchblade configuration are what the United States is offering Ukraine to resist Russia. And judging based on how well Ukraine has been using foreign weapons that were gifted to them, particularly the British N-Law anti-tank weapons, it's safe to assume that some Russian tanks are about to be warmed up by some American switchblades to deal with Ukraine's cold weather. But another way to deal with the weather is by hitting the red subscribe button below and giving this video a like. That's sure to keep you warm or cold, whichever you prefer. And that would be all for now. Thanks for watching.